。一般来说。呃，大家看到刀都非常的害怕，然后再来就是他不一定能相信施术者嘛。刀疗跟传统的按摩有什么不一样？我们知道说传统按摩啊，它都是用手或是用身体的力量。那刀疗来说呢，它其实是又安全又不费力，对于两者它可以产生一个平衡。Dao Liao, or knife therapy, started 2,500 years ago in ancient China as an alternative method to traditional medicine. Uh, we know that Taiwan has a very popular massage culture. That's been around for a long time. In Taiwan, people use knife therapy very often. The benefits of knife therapy are that it treats your wounds and your pain. It treats your pain 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 你是用一般的疗法，一般的拿着刀去做的话，你敲错位置，它就是痛，而且它会受伤，甚至流血。那你有经过特殊的教育，再加上你有指令，你不会全身帮它做完，你会知道气孔，然后从哪里下刀，身上的气就通畅了，会觉得热。But becoming one of the eighteen thousand qualified blade masters takes real work. 我们会安排去跟我们的活佛去见面。那我们也说嘛，刀疗是三年有师，就是师傅的师。你只要做三年，其实你的刀法基本来说，你就像老师一样。The knives are specially blunted and are made based on a varied ratio of steel and iron. It is a customary practice to hover the knives over burning sandalwood and store them next to meteorites to maintain the knives' lightness and efficiency. 每一个人要去顾自己的刀具，所以我们都把它当宝贝一样，尽量放在身边，不可以随便让别人摸。While the idea of knives may seem unconventional, this tradition has seen a recent surge in popularity across Taiwanese cities. In Taiwan, the knife culture is very popular. We Taiwanese are very willing to try all kinds of methods. Now it's the 21st century. Our technology is so advanced. Why do we need to use a knife from 2,500 years ago? It's a very good solution for another medical procedure. You will find that the knowledge of the ancient people 原来你身上这些气门，所谓的小宇宙，讲的 aura 很健康。